I found this picture on the internet that looked really interesting and I thought, hmm, maybe I should try building this. So I set about trying to deconstruct so that I could get all the pieces drawn out on paper and then just cut them out. If you're interested in this process, I've included this at the end of the video. Under the bench in my cluttered workshop is where I keep all my pieces of scrap off-cut wood. And so I'm going to rat through this and use this to build the car and caravan. With all the pieces drawn out on paper, it's really quite an easy and straightforward process to actually build the car and caravan. I'm using adhesive spray on the paper. I'll just spray onto the paper only, let it dry a little bit, and then paste it onto the wood. For the more intricate bits to be cut out, I'm choosing to use my scroll saw. The scroll saw allows me to cut intricate shapes and the finish is nice and smooth. It doesn't really need to be sanded on the uh, edges that are cut. One down, three more to go. I'm using the bandsaw to cut out the thicker pieces of wood. This stuff is 30mm and it's for the bonnet of the car. But the bandsaw leaves a fairly uneven cut and it has to be sanded after it's been cut. You can see here that I've got two profiles for the bonnet. The bonnet slopes down as well as being angled. But <laughs> when I go to cut it I realise that I shouldn't have cut those angles off. So I use the off cut to straighten it up again so that I can cut the front off the bonnet. Well, that did the trick. As I cut out the individual pieces, I give them a spray with some clear coat. I could have just cut the wheels out on the scroll saw or even on the band saw, but because I can, I'm using the lathe. This obviously gives a better finish. The wheels will be nice and round, and the centres will be centred. I need six wheels in total, four for the car and two for the caravan, so I'm doing them all at once. As with the other pieces, I'm giving them a clear coat before I assemble. Not all of my scrap wood is in the right size for the pieces that I need. So I'm using the fence on the bandsaw to cut out some slivers that are nice and thin for things like the doors, etc. I'm not going to bore you by showing you every step of the build, but the build's progressing. So now I can start final assembly. I'm using wood glue for the strength but I'm using a bit of few dobs of super glue so that the um, the pieces will stick almost instantly. This way I can assemble all the bits without them falling apart in my hands if I just used the wood glue. I'm using a bit of decking timber for the seat. This gives the impression of upholstery. Now I'm gluing on some of the feature panels just to give the car a final finish look. The 
the tweezers come in really handy for these tiny little bits and help to keep the super glue off my fingers. And here's the finished car. Time to start on the caravan. The caravan sides are quite tall and I don't have any scrap immediately to hand. But I do have this old piece of Bagola timber. Yep, it's definitely wide enough. So it's time to trim it up so that I can cut boards off it. I need to get rid of the paint and have some nice square sides ready for cutting on the uh, table saw. Alrighty then, this is ready. Cutting some boards off it. As you can see it's got some blemishes but I'll be able to work around that. Now my table saw is not going to cut right through this in one cut so I have to cut and then turn it over and cut again. This is why I need some perfectly straight sides so they can end up with a somewhat straight board. But it still doesn't cut perfectly so I've cut them a bit wider than I need. And then I'll put them through the thicknesser to get them to the exact thickness I want and they'll be nice and smooth on both sides. Now that I've got the raw material for the sides of the caravan, I can use the same method that I've been using for all the other bits. Spray it on the back with some glue, let it dry a bit, paste it onto the board, and then cut it out. Again, I'm using the scroll saw. It does a nice clean cut, and it's uh, easy to get round sharp corners. And also, I can cut, out, cut the insides for the windows and the door with the scroll saw. It's a bit difficult to do inside cuts with the bandsaw. With the sides cut out, I can now stick them to the uh, to the base on both sides. Even though I'm using super glue with the wood glue, I still use clamps on this because I want that to be nice and strong and straight. Right, it's right here where I'm now making one big fatal mistake. I'm getting ready to glue the roof on the caravan. And look at that, I am. I'm gluing the roof onto the caravan, but I haven't put the furniture in it. Oh dear. Oh well, too late now. I finish off the top of the roof by sanding it down to the side so that it's all nice and smooth. And because I'm a complete idiot and put the roof on before the furniture, I now have to manipulate the furniture in through the windows and try to glue them all in situ inside. I do finally achieve it with a combination of putting the glue on and using the tweezers and poking and prodding until I get them in the right place. It reminds me I never want to build one of those ships in a bottle things. I 
I've got the beds and the pillows in place. Now it's time for the sink and the stove. I'm just putting little bits of dowel in a couple of holes to make the stove tops. Once I've got them there, then I can trim them down to look like little hot plates. I again remind myself of what an idiot I am. This would have been so much easier before I'd put the roof on. Some Dremel work on some blocks of wood. End up making a little set of drawers. I'll make two of these. Pretty rough, but effective from a distance. Well that was a pain, but the inside furniture is complete. So now it's the easy part of finishing the assembly of all the outside bits. The car and caravan are now complete, so let's have a look at the final product. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in how I created the drawings for the pieces, that comes next. Otherwise, see you next time. I found this picture on the internet. Um, a link to this original picture is in the description of this video if you're interested. A few years ago I taught myself the basics of a CAD program, and so I used that to draw the parts for the car and the caravan. Ideally the picture should be completely um, side view but this one isn't so I've just sort of got to make it up as I go along. So I just bring the picture into my CAD program and then decide how big I'm going to make the car, how long and how wide. I just do this with a ruler on the desk just to get some basic sizes. With the picture in the CAD program, I start to work out what all the components might be to make up the car. So the very first thing I start with is the base that the wheels will go in. You can see all the bits here that I've put together in my final drawing. Okay, so the base there is just a piece of 19 mil thick wood or three quarter inch thick wood. And so I've made that the sort of the basic length of the car and then I start by adding extra bits. So a mud guard for example. So I go over to my tools. The mud guard is just made with a um, like a sketching type type tool that sketches out a basic outline. And once I'm happy with that basic outline then I can put it where I think it should go on that base and the same with all the other bits and pieces you can see here that the um, I'm just pulling out the bits here like the bonnet etc 
and um, what am I doing? Okay, get back to it. Okay, so the wheel, I'll do the basic shape of the wheel and the wheels made up of three circles with the center so they can use that um, when I'm actually building the wheel. So I'll group that together again and then I can drag the wheel back into the, um, the design that I'm building. If we have a look at the boot of the car for example that I've drawn that, that will sit over the base can see that I've noted that that's going to be 70 mil thick or 70 mil wide in fact um, so that's uh, that'll be pasted onto a piece of paper that um, onto a piece of wood that's 70 mil thick and this one here you can see I've just drawn the the side view outline And the, uh, the base of the caravan, for example, the drawbars, um, I've uh, routed out um, some 10 mil slots there for those drawbars to go in. So you can see how those drawbar pieces are actually going to fit into the base once I get to the assembly part of the caravan. Another example of a complex part is the roof. The roof is going to be curved. Um, so that's going to be the profile for the curve. It's 35 mil thick, but it's 70 mil wide. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge to, to cut on the bandsaw. So the whole process is just one little small step at a time until all the bits are together and they're all sort of scaled okay. Um, that just looks okay to the eye. Then it's a simple matter of printing all the bits on some paper and starting the build. And using the paste on, on the uh, timber and cutout technique, everything matches up perfectly when you do the assembly.